don't know if all you guys out there know him, but to me, Robin Williams was just pretty much a childhood hero. Mork and Mindy, so many movies, so many comedies, and I just found out that this guy has committed suicide. And that's just like, really honestly, like one of the saddest things I've ever heard. I grew up totally liking this guy, seen everything he's done, and I mean, honestly, this is a kid, he was just so funny with his nanu nano and everything, and just, I don't know, I'm just totally blown, I don't even really have the words to say it. I've thought about it myself a bunch of times, and like, if you're out there thinking about it, make sure you get help, or if you know somebody's like that, make sure they get help. Because like, Robin Williams is someone I like totally respected, and like to see that he does that, it like makes me feel even like shakier on my own personal growth because I've got my own demons as do we all so like rest in peace Robin man you're gonna be missed down here I loved you as a kid and I'm sure there's many other people that feel that way and I just want to say this has nothing to do with the video it's not the description or nothing else this is just a personal thing it's just really sad to know that Robin Williams has died so rest in peace brother Unfortunately though for us, the show must go on and I'm sure that Robin being the community was would want us to all like have a good laugh and be happy. So we'll try to continue on with the video in that type of light. Now, for gamers out there, Right now, it's actually never been a better time. 4K monitors are just booming, they're everywhere, and prices are dropping down below $700. Now, 4K gaming, you can see everything so detailed, it's actually more real than real. Can you get more real than real? I think you can. That's what they're shooting for. And anyways, right now, over on Amazon, they have lots of these on sale. Samsung, Philips, Asus, all these awesome 4K monitors for gamers under 700 bucks. So if you're a gamer and you're looking to upgrade that monitor yours and jump into 4K ahead of the pack, this is a good time for you. Make sure you guys check out the links down below that like button. All the information will be down there like usual. So if you're looking for 4K, now's a good time. Now the first story today is for you AMD fans out there. You guys are gonna have something to celebrate. It seems like the R9 285 is coming soon. Now this little demon is rumored to be equipped with a Tonga GPU from AMD's Volcanic Island line. Now something really interesting about this card is there's no crossfire connections on the card at all. Instead, the R9 285 utilizes XDMA Crossfire over PCIe, just like the other Volcanic Islands graphics cards. Now, the naming suggests that this card is going to fit somewhere between the 280X and the 290. But if we go according to the specs, it looks like it could fall somewhere between a 280X and a 280 coming at it about $200, which is a great price point. It looks like we'll be seeing a GPU core clock of 918 megahertz with an unspecified boost clock. Memory will start at 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 on a 256 bus clocked at 1375 megahertz, which will provide 1.76 gigabytes of bandwidth, less than the R9 280 and R9 280X. Now, as far as power requirements go, this card should feature dual six pin power connections and should be under 250 watts total TDP. Next up is for you Google fans out there. That's right, we've got rumors of a new Nexus 9 coming. Rumor Central suggests that the tablet will come with an 8.9 inch display, packing a resolution of 1920 by 1200 or quite possibly 2560 by 1600. It will also pack NVIDIA's 64-bit variant of their Tegra K1 SoC with two custom-made Denver CPU cores as well as their mobile Kepler GPU alongside 4 gigabytes of RAM. For those who want more information, this will all be linked down below in the description, but so far what it seems like is this is very much like NVIDIA's Shield, only with a pure Google experience. Next up. Samsung fans, which I happen to be one of, I will admit, the Note 4. Some pictures have shown up, and are these the real deal or what? Here's what the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 may look like. Hmm. While looking very similar to the front of the Galaxy Note 3, the back and sides look different. The phone appears to retain the plastic back with leather-like textures, but the sides look similar to the ones on the yet unannounced Samsung Galaxy Alpha. And surprisingly, it looks like Samsung's adding a little metal into the mix. Wrong kind of metal? Now the last story involves ease of use. Now maybe this isn't a groundbreaking story, but it's still cool nonetheless for those of out there who like ease of use. Now Google has made it much easier now to unsubscribe from emails. Now instead of being hid down below, we had to look around for it. They've made this thing totally non-obtrusive and it's right out there where you guys can see it now. So if you go into your emails and you get this email and you're like, why? Hey, you can easily 
unsubscribe with a click of a button. So that pretty much wraps it up for all these stories, folks. Like usual, down there below the button will be all of the information in the description in there. So thank you guys very much for watching Tech of Tomorrow. Once again, if you were a Robin Williams fan, I'm sure you guys will spend a day and morning. For me, I just hope that everybody out there is doing really well. And like I said in the beginning, if you're ever suffering from depression, which I will honestly admit to you, I suffer from it a lot after getting my foot cut off and stuff. I've gone through all kinds of stuff. I've gone through drug abuse and trying to get off the pain pills they put me on. So it's very hard to maintain a good life. So if you have one, make sure with the people you love. Have them support you. I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. You know I love all you fans, and we'll see you guys back here for more tech goodness very soon. Peace out, my friends.